ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Hey, this is James Spann. This is our afternoon weather extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 19th day of December. And uh, Alabama getting a little rain in spots today. We'll see much more rain tomorrow and some really interesting weather down the line and a challenging forecast for the week of Christmas. So let's go right to the Skycam Network uh, this afternoon. These are images coming from the ABC 3340 Skycam Network. We'll begin with a look at the... Uh, a uh, view coming from the Inverness camera up on top of the Wingate Inn. We're looking north over northern Shelby and southern Jefferson counties. The sky mostly cloudy, but most of the showers have ended for today. From Mount Chihaw, looking uh, right down the backbone of the Talladega Mountains, got a few peaks of sunshine there through the clouds. And the view from Coleman, mostly cloudy up in Coleman County. And by the way, I note that uh, Chihaw considerably colder. They've got 44 up there, while most other spots are about 10 degrees warmer, which, of course, sometimes happens because of the altitude there. Uh, there's a look at the uh, wave action, and it's a complex one. We've got one wave that's uh, passing east of here. That brought a few showers and sprinkles this morning. A stronger wave coming through the Rockies. That will be swinging through here tomorrow. And just a series of these things over the next couple of weeks making for a pretty challenging forecast. Temperatures beginning to warm a little bit across the southern half of the country. Look at Oklahoma City at 55 this afternoon. That looks pretty good as the snow and ice melt continues out there. But 23 in Chicago. Uh, and the snow cover will stay in place over the Midwest and the Great Lakes and the Northeast through Christmas, no doubt about that. Uh, radar is of early afternoon. You really have to look hard to see anything there. I see a couple of sprinkles, uh, one down there between Uniontown and uh, Thomaston, another one on the Tom Bigby River south of uh, uh, Pennington, but uh, most spots will be dry for the rest of this afternoon and tonight. Now, for the next five days, this is the expected rain across the country. This is valid through uh, Monday morning at 6 o'clock. And look at that. That's suggesting uh, one inch of rain for much of Alabama, maybe an inch and a half on the western side. And that will be between the system tomorrow and the system over the weekend. And again, that sounds about right. The convective outlook, this is for the rest of this afternoon, mainly tonight, as that new trough begins to slice into some pretty unstable air, a slight risk of severe weather over eastern Texas western Louisiana and the southwestern tip of Arkansas. Uh, day two tomorrow, this is for Thursday, got a slight risk over all of Louisiana, south Mississippi, and just Mobile and Baldwin counties of Alabama. Don't expect any severe weather here tomorrow. And then our system coming in for the weekend, this is day four Saturday, a slight risk from eastern Texas down into south Alabama. In Alabama, that risk area along and south of a line from near uh, Hamilton down to Montgomery and Dothan. Uh, but again, I'm not totally convinced severe weather is going to be a big problem there because more than likely this thing will be coming through late Saturday night or maybe even Sunday morning. Okay, always an adventurous thing to look at the uh, computer model runs this time of the year with this wave train going on here. This is the 12Z GFS, the global forecast system, valid at noon tomorrow, noon Thursday. Short wave west of the state, and that's going to be providing some lift, and that means wet weather. Uh, should be a wet day. Occasional rain, maybe some thunder involved, and we are optimistic we'll get one half inch of rain. Some of the models are more aggressive. In fact, the NAM uh, showing the OZ run had two inches of rain here. That sounds a little too aggressive, but I think one half inch, very attainable, maybe more in spots. Friday, that wave is off to the east. We're in between. Should be a, a dry and mild day. Saturday, here comes the new system, and each run looks a little different. And really, instead of being completely phased, you've got a distinct northern and southern system here on Saturday. And down at the surface, accordingly, there's not really one deep surface low with this. And at midday Saturday, the rain's still showing up a little west of here. And really, here's Sunday, and that's when the main band of showers and thunderstorms coming through now. So each model beginning to slow down the weekend system, each model run uh, on the GFS. So... Uh, really, it now looks like it'll be midnight Saturday night through a pretty good chunk of the day Sunday with rain and maybe some thunder. And then we'll go to Monday of next week, and this is the great mystery here, Christmas week. Model madness is really starting to step in. Uh, the latest run of the GFS has another trough hanging back to the west on Monday, and at the surface, by golly, that looks wet as could be. At the moment, our ongoing forecast is for a dry day. Now that looks wet, so we might have to make some adjustments here, and we probably will as the models are beginning to be begin to agree on this solution now. So if this is right, Monday would be wet at times, Christmas Eve, 
and then Christmas Day, we dry out with the surface slow moving on to the east. So I, I think we are beginning to going to have to make some major amendments here, and that would be a big Christmas Day snowstorm for Chicago and Detroit and Cleveland and Indianapolis, if that's right. And again, a quick peek at the European. This is the uh, 500 millibar pattern for Christmas Day. And again, it's got that really deep uh, system rotating through here. So the idea of an early week system, I think, is definitely on the table now. And probably the idea of uh, some rain on uh, Monday, clearing and colder weather for Christmas Day is pretty much what we're going to roll with at this point. Uh, Wednesday of next week, the 26th, looks dry and cool. And then Thursday, the 27th at this point, that run looks dry, or this day looks dry on this run. And on the 28th, here comes a trough, but it's not as deep as previous runs, and that's got the bulk of the rain south of here on the 28th. So uh, we're beginning to see all these inconsistencies, and the models are struggling to handle this active wave pattern. The one thing I'll guarantee, future runs are going to look different. And you know what I'm about to say here. Let's take these suckers one at a time. Uh, we feel confident about the deal tomorrow. We feel confident about the weekend system. We really need to get at least one of those two out of the way before we can focus on next week. Uh, we'll peak at New Year's Day. This is the 1st of uh, January 2008, trough over the east, and uh, uh, vorticity swinging through here, but just light rain showing up with that. And again, we just don't even want to go any farther because it's hard enough figuring out the weather a week in advance, much less two weeks in advance. That's it for the afternoon weather extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 7 a.m. tomorrow. And we invite you to watch us on TV this evening. For those of you around this part of the world, ABC, uh, ABC 3340 in Birmingham, the news at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock tonight. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.